Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Emerald Baby Lock. So, last video, oops, bumped the mic. Last video we fought against Roxanne. And we pretty much swept her old gym with our Azmaril. Or Azrael. That's what it's called, right? So, what we need to do next is go north of here. And before we do that, I want to train the rest of my Pokemon to at least level 15. Some of them are a little lacking their levels. So yeah, I want to go train the rest of Pokemon on my PC to level 15. And yeah, I'll see you then. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, um, didn't expect this to happen. Um, well, I, I promise you, I did not use any type of cheats. This is 100% normal. Or, uh... Huh. Well then. Hmm. You know, with this type of Lost Play, we're not going to capture any extra Pokemon. But, I'm going to make an exception here. <laughs> this could be one of our HM users. Because, oh me oh my, I was not expecting this. At all. <laughs> Though really, when can you ever expect a shiny? Unless you input some type of cheat for it, which I did not. Gonna have to take my word that I did not use any cheats for this to appear. I was not recording as I was just going through and trying to level up my lofty. So, yeah. I'm definitely gonna try to capture this. This is... This is insane. <laughs> and I caught it! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh man. What should we name it? There we go. Yana Pooch. Well, anyways. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go back to finishing getting Lobby up to level 15. Uh, yeah, gonna be one of our new HM Pokemon. We're probably still gonna need to capture a Wingle at some point, or some other flying Pokemon, because I do not believe any of ours can learn fly. I'm not 100% sure which Pokemon, like, without wings can fly, and I don't think any of the ones that we have can. So, yeah, see you in a little bit. Oh, Lobby learned Smog. Let's see, we have four moves. Smog, and exhaust, gas attack, that may also poison. Uh, we might have some use for this later on. Whenever we get to like a grass. There's a, there's a grass type gem in this game, right? Not nah, I don't feel like a damn fool. Okay, we are back. After catching that, oh, whoops. Well, we just got done capturing a shiny Pushiano, which is gonna be one of our new Asian Pokemon. I also did some leveling. I did not get Lofby up to level 15. It was just taking way too long. So we're just going to continue. We just got stopped by this guy. We saw him just moments ago, if you were watching the last video. Not 100% sure what he's going to do or tell us. It's been a while since I've played the vanilla version of this game. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Oh boy. I guessing your job is on the line, huh? That shady character. I think he took off towards the tunnel over there. Well, we're gonna go look for the shady characters. Actually, there's plenty of shade, because, I mean, there's trees everywhere. Yeah. Oh, as you might notice, I finally added Smooshum to the screen. Smooshum exists, and yeah. The so Smooshum is now officially on the screen. So now, all of our baby lock team is now officially on the screen. We have not lost any of them so far. Hopefully, we can keep it that way for at least a little while. If not the whole, if the whole game, that would be absolutely incredible. But... I highly doubt that's gonna be the case. Actually, I highly doubt this baby lock is actually ever gonna actually be done. Because I'm not 100% sure, even if we over-level our team by a good amount, that we'll be able to beat the Elite Four. It's just, it, their base stats are just way too low. And yeah, like I said, if I happen to lose my team and this baby lock fails, I'm still going to complete the game with these baby Pokemon. It's just, it would no longer be a baby lock. Since I'm going to probably have these uploaded prior to completing the game at the moment i have yet i've actually uploaded the first part part one but easily could lead to a case where i lose the baby lock and i have not gotten to that point in editing 
to announce that lost the lock i actually don't i also don't really want to point it out because it's kind of a i don't know it would be like oh by the way at part 20 this this is when i lose the baby lock you know what i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do if that happens but you know we're only on part this should be episode four we're so early i shouldn't really be thinking about that right now let's just continue we're on route 116 now brendan i wrote down that brendan appears again on route 110 which this is 116 i believe we just came from like route 105 i'm not 100 percent sure where route 110 is is it north of here uh i'm scared they're gonna appear route 115 and this was was this wasn't this 115 am i losing my mind no route 116 but anyways i've got like i'm prepared for his team I'm not too worried about it. So we're just going to keep going. It looks like right now we need to go help this guy get his whatever he had. Some kind of package. So yeah, I'll see you if we encounter any trainers. I think he's going to spot me. Yeah. If I, if I see a potential battle, I'm going to do it. If somehow I accidentally pass one, like I don't notice it, you can yell at me in the comments about it. But if I do notice them, I'm going to battle them. So it's a little, I don't know. I, do, do most Nuzlocks do that? Do most Nuzlocks always do battles when they see them? Or do they uh, try, do they make an attempt to skip them? Either way, if I see them, I'm going to try to battle them. Mogby is going to absolutely annihilate all the Pokemon in this area. Probably every trainer in this area, if they use bug grass Pokemon. Oh, another thing which I might address in the next video is I noticed that I've been reading all of the text boxes. I'm sure plenty of you have probably played or watched this game so many times that you don't really want to listen to these me reading these text boxes text boxes excuse me so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably not gonna read them anymore unless i see some really odd text that kind of stands out like that one that we saw at the beach that was oddly deep and fairly dark if i see something like that i'll read it only because i don't think everyone actually you know probably there's a lot of people that have watched nuzlocke who have watched plays of this game where the less player does not read the text, so they probably actually have never heard it since you more than likely don't read it or pause to read it. So yeah, if anything weird or funny pops up in the text, I'll read it to you guys. Okay, like I said about battling every trainer, I think there's a trainer up here. I probably could have just skipped this. Yeah, I, I, I think I can skip him, but I'm gonna battle him anyways. And of course, if any of my Pokemon get knocked out during these battles, it counts towards the baby lock. They'll be, oh, uh oh. Well, wasn't expecting a Machop. So let's swap out with, does Nadia have a, uh, I think Nadia has a psychic move now. Mirror coat, not the move I was thinking of. Not the move I wanted, I mean. See if any of our Pokemon have a psychic move. Pyroscope has earthquake, which I'm quite sure ground is strong against fighting. Could be wrong on that. I'm quite sure it's super, no. It's not super effective. All right, let's KO him before he releases his built up energy. And we did, good. Got Love Beetle level 14. Ouch, a scrape. I have to put on a bandage. How do you get a scrape? This wee child is surely going to want to battle. I study at school and I study on the way home too. School kid Karen. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Also unfortunate that you have a Shroomish because I'm going to one-shot it. Back to school for you, Karen. Go, go back go back to school. You're in shock that you lost? Well, that's just how it is sometimes. All right, I think this is a potential... Oh, it could be a double battle either way. If I go this way and they both see me as a double battle, and if I go past them, then it could also be a double battle. So, what do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to just do three battles. I'm going to go up, talk to him. So then when I go down, it's only a single. Or I can walk one step up and a wild Pokemon appears. Alright, we're fighting the kid. What's his name? I forgot. One shot. Easy peasy. Johnson. Oh man. That's a 
Refined name. Low tag. Grass water. So... Damn, we don't have any Pokemon with electric type moves. Does grass like, grass like neutralizes it? Like it still does damage, but it's not super effective, right? I don't want to leave out Law of B because he might have a water, t he probably has a water type move. So let's swap out with, actually I think, Clucklith, oh, oops, I meant to check the moves. Oh well, I'm quite sure Clucklith has, yeah, Clucklith has Solar Beam. Takes two moves to charge. His low is only level eight. I don't think this should be an issue, but regardless, I think I'm gonna do Solar Beam. Oh, he just used Growl. He probably doesn't even have any water type moves, actually. I think his level is too low. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Man, I overreacted. That was fun even though I lost. That's a good attitude to have, Jonathan. Mature name for a mature boy. Oh, now he's turning. He wasn't turning before. I'm gonna battle him regardless. He probably, he looks like someone that would have a rock or ground type Pokemon, so I might just switch out beforehand and put Aoidama as the lead. If the town doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Over the top, that's the movie with Sylvester Stallone and uh, probably someone else. It just has that one arm wrestling scene. It's real famous. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just annihilated your one Pokemon team, Clark. Gasp. Gasp. Losing made me tired. This guy probably also has a deal, dude. We'll rock you hard. I'm used to fighting Geodudes. I just beat a gym leader that had two of them. Will I change Pokemon? No. I yee yee yee! No contest at all. <laughs> um, was that like a... What was that? Was that your mating call or something? This guy... I don't think... Yeah, Tundler's Rest House. I don't remember what this guy does. Let's find out. New Roar. What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools. When some... <laughs> when some goon ordered me out. Tell us about Pokemon that I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and start all the Pokemon to doing up. That goon. Oh man. This text is hilarious. I'll probably be I know I talked about how I said I'm gonna skip a lot of text. Man, I'm probably not gonna be skipping a whole lot if if, if all these if these knee slappers keep on coming. Hello, wise man. Oh, what am I to do? Pico and I He's Pico. Oh shit, you- I'm, I think Pico's your Pokemon. He stole your Pokemon? Pico. Um, I'll go find him? Question mark. So I just found this hole in the wall, or square in the wall, and apparently I can use secret power on it. I was wondering a few episodes ago, what the hell secret power does outside of battles because it gives you the option. Well, let's find out. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, is this... Oh, I forgot about this. Now, there's not a whole lot you can really do with this. Actually, wait, you get like dolls when you get to that city that's on water. Or like the houses are on water. Huh. You know, we could probably come back to this later. Also, I think there's there's more of them throughout the game, but there's a bunch of these things. I don't think I've ever even done anything with them. I did look the houses and all that in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Did they? Ha yeah, that was in those. I had Platinum before Diamond and Pearl. And I remember you could like set up your own house and it was pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool addition. All right, time to venture into Rust Earth Tunnel which links Rustboro and Verdenturf. The tunnel project has been canceled. Well, I can go in, right? Yes. Oh, it's pretty, pretty hazy in here. Hey, hazy maze cave. Oh, there's a wingle. What are you coming? Come and get some then. Oh, uh, actually, can I get that Pokeball real quick? I, I was wanting to go get it. Oh, we backed up. 
Thank you, I guess. But I don't know why you backed up like that. Oh my god, it's an actual Pokeball. Now, I'm gonna assume that Team Aqua has water type Pokemon. Because, you know, the name. So I'm probably going to lead with uh uh oh. You know what I should Ah oh man, I should really go back and probably get Elekid or my Pichu out. Though I also don't want to go all the way back there. Uh yeah, I'll go get him. See you when I'm back here. So I just went to get my Elekid out. I could use Pichu, but I decided to get Elekid. And my Elekid does not have an electric type move yet because my Elekid is only level 5. So I am going to level him up a little bit. Hopefully learn electric type move. So yeah, I'll see you back at the cave. Finally, Electron learned an electric type move. Thunder Punch. It's only level 9, but you know what? This is taking absolutely forever to level up. I cannot wait till we get XP share. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the cave. See you guys there. Alright, we are back. Gained a level on the way here, and I think we're all ready. We're only level 10. If his Pokemon are way higher, I will probably quickly swap our Elekid out, but I did not want to spend any more time trying to level him up. That was just taking absolutely forever. So, here we go. Uh, hello. Uh. I don't, I don't think that bird is yours. Uh, e, P, O, uh, don't worry. I am here to save you. Gua, kill haul it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. <gasps> How dare you? And to think, I'm ready to get away in this tunnel to nowhere. Oh, is it blocked off? Hey you, so you want to battle me? Not really, but I don't know how else you're going to, I'm going to get that Pokemon back. I mean, I could just kick you. And then take it. But that's not how these games usually work. Team Aqua Grunt. That's a very unfortunate name that your parents named you. Bushiana. Not a water type Pokemon. Whatever. You know what? This, this guy's an a-hole. This is one shot him with. Unless... It, no. Okay. Good thing he didn't somehow crit me. And made me look like an idiot there. Surf not super... Oh, wait, Bushiana isn't fire type, is he? He's only dark. Ugh. I keep getting him confused. Like, I know Houndour and Houndoom are fire dark. For some reason, I always think that Pushiana is also fire type. I think it's just dark. Erg, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Well, sir, you robbed an old man of his wing goal. I don't think your career was going too much farther than that. This is plain not right. You say that again, you stole an old man's wing goal. The boss, all caps, told me this would be a s slick and easy job to pull. You're gonna be doing a whole lot of pulling now. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. He Wait, did you... Did this guy think that the bird was the package? You want it back that badly? Take it. Alright, so he stole the bird and the package. Oh wait, the package is for the guy that ran past us. This is just a side quest. That's a side quest to the side quest. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? Oh, there's a ladybird. Pico owes her life to you. Well, I want to, I don't know, maybe. They call me Mr. Briny. Oh yeah, he's the one that owns that shack on the beach. You are. Yep, that's my name, alright. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. Come, Paco. We shall make haste. P.O. Well, P.O. to you too. We don't have Rock Smash, right? No. So we have to go back to that weird guy and give him his package. Oh, before we go to him, can we go in here now? Can. Who are you? Why y'all look the same? To get the Verdant Turf without using this tunnel, you have to cross the sea to do fur to sail on this wall. wall. Yes, fracking is not a good thing. It is nice that the folks at Game Freak, Game Freak made them, right? They didn't sell it off to... Wait, does Game Freak still make Pokemon? I feel like they do, but they might not. But it's nice that the little social commentary there on the dangers of fracking. 
There's a man just digging away in burden turf. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. Well, I still think you're kind of disturbing the natural environment by digging away at it. Probably not as bad as machines, but yeah. A Pokemon baby lock nose lock is not the place and or time and or place to be discussing the repercussions of fracking. All right, we're back to this guy. Is he gonna give us anything? Oh, how'd it go? The Devon Goods, he did it, he got them back, yay. You really are great. Thank you for the great ball. Don't really need it, but I'll keep it anyways. Oh, we we just teleported. This is Devon. Oh wait, yeah, we. <laughs> there was a hiker named Devon, and now we're in. That, wait, is this Devon's corporation? And the other guy was Devon. Ah, uh, I don't know. This is the third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Wow, we just teleported two floors up. That's some. That's some serious black magic there, buddy. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Can I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? So, oh, okay. So originally the goods, the Dewan goods, were for this guy to deliver to Slateport. But now that we're here, he's going to make us all do it. Because he already knows that he could probably get us to do several things. We helped him out. We helped him get the goods. Might as well push his damn luck and make us go deliver it. And you know what I have to say to that? Fine. Yeah, okay. He, he's trying to establish his point. Well, if I go and try to deliver it, I'm probably just going to get robbed again. Oh, he is very aware that he's taking the piss on us. He's laughing. Oh, you you ass. You absolute ass. Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Okay. I'll wait. You have something for me. Our president would like to have a word with you. Who's the president? Oh, this guy. He's standing up in his chair. Mr. Stone, president of Devon Corporation. I saved him twice. Wait, what? When was the first time? I understand that you're delivering a package of blah, blah, blah. On the way to delivering the package, do you mind stopping off at Dufort Town? Sure, why the hell not? I was hoping that you deliver a letter to Stephen in Dufort Town. Obtained the letter. So I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Oh boy, we're being bribed. Well, I guess this wouldn't be a bribe. We're just getting paid to do a job. Oh, we're getting paid beforehand. Nice. So we'd, we don't even have to deliver this. Honestly, we can just take the letter and the goods and just keep them. Or throw them out. It doesn't matter that we deliver them. All they know is that we might deliver them. They probably think that we will because we just helped this guy. But I'm also not an ass, so I am going to deliver them. Also, the game makes you do it. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator. Pokenav for short. There's a map of the Hoenn region. Great, we have a map now. Magma and Aqua. They have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up. Oh, okay, well, thanks for healing us, even though we didn't really need it. Alright, now... We are going to head that way, and we'll probably be stopped several times on the way there. One of the people we will be encountering, I think, is Brendan. We have not seen him, or at least we haven't battled him, since the professor's lab, and we'll probably be coming across him very soon. I am perfectly prepared for him. I know what Pokemon he has. Wait, what? It sounds like they've received the ripped off Devon goods. What? Look like, oh, look like they've recovered the ripped off. Wow, that is a very odd term of phrase. It makes it sound like the goods are like fakes or knockoffs. I'm assuming it means they were ripped off as in they were stolen. That's a very odd term of phrase there, buddy. Oh, hello. I've been developing an added feature for the book and I have. What is it? Match call. Oh, is this the battle trainers we've already battled? That's a lot of work. And I think you can only battle them like certain times of the day. 
And since we're using a emulator, the in-game clock is not going to change. Well, it will change. It's just not going to change when we're not playing, if that makes sense. Uh, put away the PokéNav, please. No, put away. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Let me go. Oh boy, and we're back. Wow, it just took me 10 minutes to get out of that booking nav screen. I do not know what the hell was going on. I have all of the buttons mapped to pretty much exactly as they would be on a Game Boy Advance. So why I couldn't get out of that screen is beyond me. I couldn't even get out of it on my keyboard. I had to like reset all the buttons to just letters because I was pressing like backspace, enter, all of that. Absolutely nothing was happening. Eventually it worked. I'm still not 100% sure what button I pressed to get it to work. But with all that being said, I am not going to press PokéNav for the rest of the run because I am not dealing with that again. That was quite infuriating. With that being said, let's get back to the Let's Play. Now the only way we can go really to progress the game is up since we don't have rocks match and I don't think there's a reason to go speak to Mr. Bryony at least not now so yeah let's proceed up route 115 I'm not sure when exactly we encounter Brendan I think it's pretty soon just judging by the level of the Pokemon it looks like he has hello are you a trainer oh you're not wait is this also a dead end okay I was wrong super potion Okay, so I think maybe we have to go back. Not 100% sure where we have to go, but let's keep going south from here and see what happens. Oh, oh, there he is. Well, we're inside the city. When I looked up his locations, it didn't say he was in any city aside from Lily Cove, which is the last encounter we have with him. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's see what he has to say. Maybe it's a battle, maybe it's not. Well, hello. Oh, hi. You had a match call. Yeah, I know. And it was terrible because I couldn't figure out how to get off of the screen. What? Oh. What were those, those dots for? I guess it was him entering his phone number or whatever. By the way, Luca, I walked by Mr. Oh, Mr. Briny again. How's your Pokedex? Have you filled any in pages yet? What? Well... <laughs> Mind rules. Want to have a battle to test how far you progress? Oh, okay, this battle's optional. Yeah, I remember seeing like one or two of these battles are optional. Well, we're gonna battle him regardless. So, uh, GL, good luck, buddy. I know you just became a trainer, but I won't go easy. Uh, didn't you become a trainer the exact same time that I did? I don't know if that was like a backhanded... Well, it wasn't a compliment, but I'm guessing... That was like some kind of insult and it didn't really land the punch because you became a trainer the same time I did and my Pokemon are better than yours. Uh, Trico, do I want to swap out? Absolutely. The Electron could probably take care of him. Love B is just going to one shot his Trico. Maybe one shot. Okay, two shots. But still... He had absolutely no chance. By the way, you know Mr. Briny? Yes, I yes I know who he is. I just saved his bird. I bet you didn't know this since you just moved here, Luca, but he was once a great sailor. I bet he was. Alright, now that I think about it, I think maybe we do have to go speak to Mr. Briny. Maybe I was completely wrong on all this. I feel like a buffoon if that's the case. Anyways, I'm gonna go head in that direction. If anything happens on the way there, I'll... Was this the right way? Am I supposed to speak to him? Oh, hello, bird. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Oh, you're Luca. You saved my darling Pico. You owe you so much. What's that? You want to sail with me? Oh. Well, I was a damn buffoon. I absolutely had to talk to him. Is this wing going, like, mid-flight up there? That's kind of funny. I forgot we did this so early in the game. I thought this, like, didn't happen until, like, after, like, four badges, four or five badges is when we take the boat. But, hey, I guess we go pretty early. There's a lot of water in this game. Like, 
Ruby, Sapphire. Oh, what? Oh, hi, Dad. Where are you now? Uh, in the middle of the ocean. Sounds windy wherever you are. Wait a minute, if I just got the Pokenav, how does our dad have our number? We... Alas, we have arrived. Ahoy! Suppose you're off to deliver that letter. Imagine if the letter was like an item that you just had for the entire game, and you don't deliver it until like, after you beat the Elite Four or something like that. Oh, we need to go find Steven. Where are, where are you, Steven? Is this your house? N no, it's not. Maybe it is. Hello, Steven? Are, are you are you Steven? I'm studying up on the hip and trendy small chat now. But what the hell? Small chat and travel, what? I'm one step closer to being hip and happening. Yowza. Uh, yeah. Are you Steven? What the? What's everyone wanting to be so hip and happening? All what? Is this the exact same speech? Oh my god, it is. It pretty much is. Small chat is the definition of in- What? What the hell is small chat? <laughs> this is- Is it like leet speak? What? Oh, hello? Are you, are you Steven? What do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Wait, what? I thought he was like setting up a joke there, but it was definitely no punchline. Tentacle. I'm sorry, but- Oh, that was not a one shot. Ow. Well, at least it didn't poison us. Oh, we're fine. Electron is fine. Ooh, got a lot of XP there. I lost because I'm trying to not go to the washroom. I got a washroom. I'm quite sure this was translated by an American team. It's kind of weird that they're using washroom. Yes, I know how to use a rod. Which do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or a stream? Uh, probably, well, I don't know. It depends. I've gone deep sea fishing like a couple times. I fish in like streams and rivers a lot. So probably that. Level 12. Magic carp. Do I switch out? No. Okay, we have not found uh, Steven yet. He might be in the cave. He might not be. Let's find out. Hello. Hello. It's awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Oh, Steven isn't here. You need to have flash. You can do this without flash, right? Oh, what's this? HM5. Oh, it just gives us flash. Oh, but we do need the gym badge for it. Uh, I might look up like a guide or something on how to do it without flash or just like the map. Well, you know what? We already have our shiny Pushiana and we're still going to need to catch a flying type Pokemon. So actually, I might just teach one of the Pokemon flash. One of our HM users, I mean. Alright, let's head out back out through here and see. Quite, okay, so he said Steven was farther in the cave. So we need to... First I'm going to heal my Pokemon and then there's the gym. Is, Steve, is Steven the gym leader? No, it's Brawly. He uses water types. Good. We can absolutely annihilate him with our Elegid. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Next, we are going to battle Brawly, the gym leader, so we can use Flash and proceed through the cave. I'm going to go level up my Elicate a little bit. He's probably already high enough level now, but I want to get him I want to get him to at least the same level as the rest of my Pokémon, at least 15. Might get him up to 17. I don't know. I'll see what level Brawly's Pokemon are and then judge it based off that. So, yeah. See you all next time and thanks for watching. Bye.